is up everybody we are jumping into minecraft we are doing a mod pack called vault vault hunters it is by a youtuber named iscal85 uh give you a here a description straight from the website vault hunters is an rpg based mod pack for minecraft for minecraft focus focusing around the mysteries and dangers of a dimension called the vault it features many vault hunter specific items and mobs like armor weapons totems currency and bosses players can develop their own talents and abilities while trying to achieve the goal of collecting all the 25 unique artifacts to unlock the final challenge do you have what it takes uh so yeah so as the description says it's an rpg based mod and if i remember correctly hold on no, that's not how you do that okay they gave us a little book here um of how what all the different um of all like how to start and stuff like that you have your artifacts uh artifacts are a crucial part of opening the final vault uh together they line up to create a five by five artifact wall unidentified relics have a chance to spawn in reward crates that you receive when completing vault objectives uh, burning an artifact creates an artifact fragment. Four artifact fragments can be used to create a new unidentified artifact. This way you can use any duplicate artifacts to create a new one. Um, okay, so that's what the artifacts do. Chromatic iron is how we're going to get started in this mod pack. So we need to find chromatic iron. Um, it's not so as you can see here it says chromatic iron is a fairly rare ore that spawns in big veins but is rarely exposed to air when mine it drops raw chromatic iron the amount of raw chromatic iron drop per ore is affected by fortune uh get, get the when smelting chromatic iron you can get the chromatic iron ingot um is commonly used in modded recipes um Vault Rock is found from start your vault adventures. You'll need Vault Rock to place on the Vault Altar for it to turn into a Vault Crystal. Find clusters of Vault Stone on Y level 5 and below. When mining Vault Stone, there's a 10% chance for it to drop a chipped Vault Rock. This is then combined with Chromatic Iron Ingot to create a Vault Rock. Uh, let's see what else vault crystal statues relics gems those aren't really important for getting into the game game mechanics abilities archetypes cooperative or not playing cooperative player leveling bounty system these are all things that are fairly uh later game so let's see if we can figure out um the vault, altar, those are different, that's not the altars that you're thinking of. Um, so the vault, I was trying to find it here, but we'll look it up in JEI over here. Um, just enough items, I believe that's what that stands for. But if we look up vault, altar, I don't know, did I spell it wrong? Aha, it's with an A. So this is required to create to craft these not to craft but to um what is the what is the description for that so with the vault rocks um you get the vault rock vault crystals after obtaining a vault rock you need to convert it into a vault crystal by infusing it with the requested items on the vault altar okay that's okay there right there okay wow i could have just looked this up place the vault rock on the vault altar and feed it the resources requested items the number of requested items increases when your vault level increases uh, after completing the request feed the altar a redstone signal to obtain the vault crystal the objective theme and layout of the vault crystal will not be revealed but can be set using seals notes moats notes that looks like a m uh, and catalyst. The level of the vault crystal is sealed to the vault level when it was crafted. The level of vault crystal is scaled to your vault level when you when the crystal was created. The two downgrade the vault level and fuse it with a diamond in an anvil. Okay, so the level above my hunger bar indicates my vault level. Um, so we guess we will start this out here with 
chopping down wood. Hold on here. We have, uh, we want hard on everything. Um, controls, auto jump off. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to start by collecting some wood and looking for a village to get started. Uh, one thing that is to be noted, most of the um, enchantments, the typical enchantments, do not work. Like protection and fire uh, protection, all the protections don't work in this mod pack. Uh, they have been replaced by the vault mod um, that is what's the basis of this whole mod pack is based around um let me see if i can figure out that is definitely oh look okay cool um i forget what they call that but that's like uh for multiplayer you can be like hey look go over here there's something that needs to get mined here um or something like that um that is mini map that is not anything helpful um um, pressing all the buttons. That's not the right button. That's not the right button. Uh, that's not the right button. That's not the right button. Um, uh, okay. Uh, that's advancements. Okay. Let's go into... I'm trying to figure out how to pull up my um, display to show you all my stats. My stat display for my character. So we will go to controls, keybinds. Um, okay. Do 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 do. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Um. I'm keeping this in the video just so that you can learn alongside me if you are question about if you have questions as well. Um. There is an official Vault Hunters uh, Discord server that you can go on to to get uh, information uh, or report bugs and stuff like that. Is this pack is still in alpha? Um, let's see. Create curious J E I. Um, maybe it's down with the Vault J mechanism. No. Um, huh. Let's see. Cork inventory, mark cork, fine storage, sophisticated backpacks. Will probably be the vault. Got it. Ability cast key. Um, we'll probably want to change this once we get into those. Open the skill tree. Um, let's see. What's not. Um, hmm, what should we, let's go H and see what H is. Search for the key. H is anchor, building gadgets. Let's just remove that. Yeah, just take that off. Um, no, don't do that. Um, let's just make it the backspace. Um, H is show HUD for mechanism. Um, we can just make that J. And now we have that. Uh, let's go back here and H. There we go. Okay, this is all of our stats um, that we have here. We have our abilities that we can unlock. Uh, we have these different abilities, Vein Miner, Nova, Rampage, Ghost Walk Dash, Mega Jump. Um, I won't explain every single one of these because the video would be hours long. There are talents that you can also spend your skill points on. So this is where you spend your skill points that you earn from leveling up. You get one point for each level. You can earn them other another way, but I'll, and I'll explain that in just a second. But um, these are different abilities that you can get. Reach, you can increase the reach, how many blocks away you can reach. Um, this is, uh, that one says slowness affinity allows you to uh, damage, deal more damage to targets with slowness. Um, haste, speed, your stare, uh, your typical, your little, your typical ones. Um, 
Center. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, these are archetypes. Um, so this is just a no this is the typical, this is the normal, this is the starter one. Then once you reach level 50, you can choose to spec into one of these six um, archetypes and each one does a different thing so this one increases your item how, how good you can loot how much loot you get from the vault but as you can see it increases your damage um let's check another one here this vampire one looked pretty cool what is this uh you, your vampiric veins pulse strong plus five life leech but you cannot heal through any other means so that would mean that the heal ability would become then in uh, in, uh Loss of vocabulary words here. Hold on. <laughs> uh, would become useless to you. That's the word. Um, so, yeah. Um, then there are research, which does not have anything to do with your uh, leveling up. This has to do with knowledge points. Um, they don't say that on there, which is a little bit weird. But um, research points are gotten with the uh hold on jei if we go to at vault oopsies hold on at vault we can look at all the different vault things in the vault mod um where is it uh do 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 Searching, searching, searching. Um, okay, searching, searching. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, where are they? Are they? There should be in here. Maybe they retextured them from the last time I checked it out. Um, Do, 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 do. Um, okay, I get it. I want me to craft something. Aha, here it is. Knowledge stars. Knowledge stars are crafted with knowledge shards and a knowledge core. Knowledge cores are crafted with vault diamonds, obviously only found in the vault. Uh, crafted with also a uh, extraordinary benetite, which is four perfect benetite, which is four Benetite gems. Then to craft the shards, you need no nine knowledge essence. So it takes a little bit to get into the mods, uh, unlocking the mods. That is how you unlock the mods. It is almost nighttime, but I'm going to um, just for the sake of the video, just change it today um, because we were describing how to play and everything like that. Um, so let's just get started with crafting, uh, with gathering some resources. Uh, now that I've got some, most of the basic introduction out of the way, uh, and then I'll come back to you when I've got uh, some resources all set up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Gathered some resources, found a village not too far from spawn. We started out down in this crag field over here. Worked our way up towards this cliff that I thought was cool. Found this on the mini map, this nether portal. Found this village, and I thought that it looked decent enough. I mean, it's going to need some fixing up here. Um, some leveling. It's got this bee nest in here. It's got a castle where I can stay. It's got a bunch of places um, to store villagers. And yes, they are in my inventory, and that is a, by a mod called Easy Villagers. Um, that allows me to just uh, shift right click on a villager in the world, and then a bundle! I got a bundle! Those are really good. Um, and yeah, they allows me to shift right click on a villager in the, wood, in the world um, and pick him up. Make sure that when you're doing that, though, that he doesn't, that the villager does not have a job, because apparently that glitches them out or something like that. The job will stick for a while, and you won't be able to change its job. It's confused. It confuses me, but I just 
know what I'm supposed to do. What I know what to do. What I'm supposed to do when I'm picking them up. <laughs> Can I speak? No. Um, B guy. Yes. Um, let's uh, take your job away. And then... Oh, thanks. Slam the door in my face. Uh, I did just take your job away, though. So, um, let's pick you up. Um, let's store... Let's try and find a central place. But yeah, I think that I'm going to... If you look at this village, it's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know what that is. I might go down there and explore that in a second. There's like yellow up there. That might be fire. Um, but I think that I'm going to clean all of this up. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to clean all this up. And then I'll get right back to you. But I just thought I'd jump back in here and show you what I've got, what I've found so far. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I cleared off a little bit of this area. Uh, I went down, tried to do some mining, but I couldn't find any of the vault rock uh, or the chromatic iron that's needed for the vault altar um these are just a couple of things that i tabbed over that would be um useful for um getting into the mod getting deeper into the mod pack um i'll explain those once once we need to um vault rock or i don't think that that's a thing anymore i think that that's been outsourced um but yeah, so what we need is, what is it called? Vault Rock. Uh, that's Vault Bedrock. Or did they get, they might have done a update and not done the ore. No, they no, because it was in the book. Um, but yeah, so I cleared out this whole area. Um, I've designated this building here behind us as our house, our starting point. Uh, this building here is the mining shack. I have a hole that goes all the way down to about negative five and then a mining rig that will mine all the way out till um, down to down around negative 10 so that you can find that vault rock um, and the chromatic iron because in the manual we needed I don't, I'll show you in a second here. Um, then we have our bee farm here that, that was already set up. Um, this is going to be like our crafting area and magic area. Um, a lot of these buildings on the map um, are over here. This area specifically is kind of abandoned at this point um, until I get into more mods. Um, as you can see, it's kind of raised up. The terrain is awful. I'm going to eventually hopefully be able to get to the point where I can level that entire thing and um, make it a little bit more flat. Yes, I might get rid of the castle. I don't really have any need for it at this moment. Um, that building there is going to become a trading post. I'm going to create an entrance and exit so that the villagers can't escape. I'm gonna put all their beds up there in the attic. Um, this building, I haven't designated anything specific for this. It's a nice little cozy house. Uh, it's got a few beds up here. Those beds will probably be relocated. Um, that might, but like I said, a lot of these houses that I'm not currently using will most likely become, uh, places for when I unlock the mods and stuff like that. The, with the knowledge, no, that's not there, there. With the research and stuff like that, with the knowledge fragments. Um, one of them might become a storage area. Um, just depends on uh, what, how the series go, what, what I'm feeling as the series goes along, what I need at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I think that um, I spent about an hour, like I said, about two hours looking for those vault, uh, those ingredients that are needed for um, progressing in the mod pack for about, like I said, two hours. Um, and I couldn't find them. So I think that um, in this moment, we're just, I'm just gonna s sign off um, and look for them in between episodes. So I'm not wasting too much time um, on this episode, but yeah. 
uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you want to get notified of the next episode when it comes out, hit that subscribe uh, subscribe button and that notification bell to make sure you get notified for when I post the next episode. Um, as I said, this was we've been just kind of throwing a bunch of stuff in all of these. This doesn't belong in here. This can get put somewhere else. Uh, this could probably get put uh, just there. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So have a great day. Bye.